In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the Samsung Health Monitor app in order to get a few extra health features with your Samsung Galaxy Watch. Just note that this will only work if you have your watch paired to a Samsung phone. It will not work if you have your watch paired to a non-Samsung phone, such as a Google Pixel phone. So you may have noticed if you go to your tiles on your watch that there is the option for taking an ECG but it's not available right away. You do need to tap this learn more button and it's asking to allow Samsung Health Monitor to access the sensor data about your vital signs. If we scroll up a little, it says to let this app access body sensor data all the time, even when you're not using the app, go to settings. Now, if you just wanna take an on-demand ECG, I guess you wouldn't need it to have access to it all the time, but there's also a feature called irregular heart rhythm notifications, which can measure your heart rhythm in the background continuously while you're wearing your watch, and it would then need to have access to data all the time. So I would probably recommend going ahead and allowing this all of the time, but we can tap go to settings here, or you can tap just while using the app. So I guess I will say go to settings and I'm gonna tap here all the time. So we have don't allow while using the app or all the time. I'll tap all the time. Now if I swipe to go back, now it's saying download the app. So there's an additional app you'll need to download to your phone. So if I tap this here, it says continue on phone. And you can see here now, it has the Samsung Health Monitor app. So all you need to do is press this install button and then it will work to install the app to your phone. And after a moment, it should, there we go. Now I'm gonna tap on open. So it says comfortably and conveniently measure and record health information that you can share with a healthcare professional. It's a little bit um, not obvious what that's going to record, but I'm gonna go ahead and tap accept. You can also tap terms of use or privacy policy, for example, if you want to read the privacy policy that you are agreeing to, as well as the terms of use. So if you're okay with all of that, go ahead and tap accept. So now it's asking for Samsung Health and Samsung Health Monitor to be able to communicate. So allow this app to read and write Samsung Health data. So you can read through all of this uh, basically, it's the electrocardiogram, which is ECG for short. So it's wanting to write the data. And then it's also wanting to read your user profile, which has to do with things like your age, your gender, height, weight, and things like that. So I'm assuming it needs all this. So I'll go ahead and tap all permissions. And both of these are now green. And then I'll tap done. So it's asking to create a profile, which is interesting because they should already know this information, but I guess they want you to just, this might be what it's going to print out on a PDF to send to your doctor, that kind of thing. So I would go ahead and put in your name and your date of birth and whatever your gender is. And once you've done all that, you can go ahead and tap continue. Now it says allow Samsung Health Monitor to send you notifications. So as you can kind of see here in the background, it says your Galaxy Watch can record and analyze your heart rhythm for the presence of atrial fibrillation or AFib, which is a type of irregular heart rhythm. So this is basically allowing them to give you these irregular heart notifications. So if you don't have any interest in that, you can tap don't allow and it won't have this feature enabled. But if you are interested in that, you'll wanna go ahead and tap allow here. And it looks like you need to have a certain uh, version of Android in order to use the Samsung Health Monitor app. I'm pretty sure I already have that, um, but I guess I'll tap read just so that you know that you will need to upgrade your OS version in order to use it. Otherwise you may have limited services or features. So, so all right. And so here we're talking about the irregular rhythm, 
Have the watch automatically monitor your pulse and let you know if you should take an ECG to check for atrial fibrillation. You can turn this on after you set up ECG and take a first ECG measurement. So I'm curious what this says on my phone now. Yeah, so it's still showing that on the watch. So it's not set up yet, so we're still in the phone here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap get started. So it's talking now about how the ECG app works. An electrocardiogram, also called ECG or EKG, is a record of the heart's electrical activity. The Samsung Health Monitor ECG app on your Galaxy Watch allows you to record your ECG. It uses this recording to determine your heart rate and if your upper and lower heart chambers are beating in sync. You can view your ECG reports in the Samsung Health Monitor app on your Galaxy phone. Let's go ahead and tap next. So you may see one of these results sinus rhythm, atrial fibrillation, or inconclusive, or poor recording. So sinus rhythm is when the heart beats in a consistent rhythm. It says it's based on only that particular recording and does not mean that your heart beats uniformly all the time, and it doesn't guarantee that you're not experiencing arrhythmia or other health condition, and if you're not feeling well, to contact your doctor. Um, it can tell you if the ECG shows signs of AFib. And if it's inconclusive, it could be because your heart rate's too low or too high. Or the heart rhythm was neither sinus rhythm nor AFib. And then if you get this result repeatedly, they do recommend you contact your doctor. Or you could have a poor recording, which means the ECG app was not able to analyze the data. It's usually because your body moved during the recording or the Galaxy Watch did not have enough skin contact with your wrist or finger. So we'll go ahead and say next. All right, and just a few more disclaimers. You should know that the ECG app never looks for signs of a heart attack. Do not use the ECG app if you experience shortness of breath, chest pain or pressure, fainting, what you might think think might be a heart attack. Uh, contact emergency services immediately in that case. And do not use the ECG app if you have an implanted pacemaker, implanted cardiac defibrillator, or other implanted electronic devices. So once you've read all that over, you can tap next. And again, the ECG app never looks for forms of arrhythmia, which is irregular heart rhythm, other than AFib. It also never looks for other heart-related conditions, including high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, high cholesterol, blood clots, or a stroke. And do not change your medications or dosage based on the ECG results. Always talk to your doctor first. So again, they're just double making sure, triple quadruple making sure that the Samsung Health Monitor's ECG results are for informational use only. And if you're not feeling well, contact your doctor. So I'll tap next. So it noticed that my wrist orientation is set to left. I do have it on my left wrist. If you need to change your wrist orientation, you can go to the wearable app and go to these settings to change it. If it's correct, you can go ahead and tap next. All right, we're all set and we can record an ECG on my watch. So it says, open the Samsung Health Monitor on your Galaxy Watch. Make sure the watch is snug on your left wrist and rest your forearms on a table and lightly rest a fingertip on the home button for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna see if I can do this on the screen for you. So I think we could go to this um, tile here. So it says tap to record your ECG. But if for some reason that's not in your tiles, you can swipe all the way in to the end of the tiles app and you can tap here to add the tile. Uh, otherwise, you can swipe up from the bottom here and look for that health monitor app, which is this icon. Then you tap on that and it kind of goes through this for you. So saying make sure the watch is snug on your left wrist. We already went over these things, okay. Now it says rest finger lightly on the home button. Make sure the watch is snug, all right. So now we're gonna see a countdown here. I'm not sure if it's gonna be okay with me talking while I do this, so maybe I will be quiet. <laughs> All 
All right, so that was my very first ECG with a Samsung Galaxy Watch, and I did fortunately get the sinus rhythm result, which means that this ECG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation. So it will remind you again about its disclaimer. It will tell you the average heart rate during those 30 seconds of recording, and you can also add symptoms if you are feeling unwell. You can also view this ECG in the Samsung Health Monitor app on your phone. So it looks like that's all we're given on the watch, so I'll go ahead and tap Done. And to get back, you can just tap the Home button once, and it'll go back to your screen. So let's see what happened now on the phone. So I'm going to go ahead and tap Done. And now that I've taken that one ECG, it now says that I can set up the irregular heart rhythm notifications. So get notified when an irregular heart rhythm is detected. Have the watch automatically check your pulse and let you know if you take an ECG to check for atrial fibrillation. So it sounds like it will monitor in the background. And if it thinks that you have irregular heart rhythm, it will prompt you to take a more accurate measurement with the ECG app. And if you want to do all this, you can tap get started. If you're not interested, you can say cancel. Um, and I do notice in the background here that it is showing my last result. So hopefully we can figure out where to access that after I go ahead and set up these irregular heart rhythms. So I'll go ahead and tap get started. So how irregular heart rhythm notifications work. A few times a day when you're still, your Galaxy Watch will check your pulse. Your watch and phone will notify you if your watch detects one hour of an irregular rhythm that might indicate atrial fibrillation. If you get a notification, take an ECG as soon as possible so you have a more accurate record of your heart rhythm. Use the ECG result to decide whether to contact your doctor. So I'll go ahead and tap next. And precautions again, basically they just want to make sure you don't use this when you think you're having a heart attack. Let's go ahead and tap more. All right, and it is not constantly looking for AFib. This means your Galaxy Watch cannot detect all instances of atrial fibrillation. You may not get a notification even if you have atrial fibrillation. So you can tap more again. It says you will not be notified for episodes of atrial fibrillation that last less than one hour. And we tap more again. If you're not feeling well, contact your doctor. Tap more again. Don't change your medications based on these results. Okay, so now we can finally tap next. Turn on the irregular heart rhythm notification feature. So if you receive an irregular heart rhythm notification, take the ECG and use the ECG result to decide whether to contact your doctor. So I'm going to go ahead and say turn on. If after reading all that you're no longer interested, you can say not now. I'm sure there's also this point in these settings where you can turn these off if you find you're not finding them useful. So I'll go ahead and tap turn on. All right, so it's all set, you're ready to go. I'll go ahead and tap OK. All right, so now we're back into the ECG result that I just took. Um, again, it's saying this is sinus rhythm. This ECG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation. It gives me my average heart rate, the date and time, and any symptoms that I added, which I did not have any. So you can tap here to share this report. And down here is also where we have the irregular heart rhythm notification we can turn that on or off, and it looks like it will give you a history of the measurements it takes in the background, maybe, so that'll be interesting. So, yeah, if I say view history, what does this give us? All right, so we have all notifications. You can look at only your sinus rhythm results, only your AFib results, only your inconclusive or poor recording results. Okay. And then irregular heart rhythm notifications, we can tap here. And I did not have any yet, but if you ever get one, you can view the details there. So that's helpful to know. So I'll go ahead and tap share this report and see what we get as options. So it looks like we have a PDF here and you have some options here. You can save it to your Google Drive or Gmail using Quick Share, Print, Private Share, etc. There's also a nearby share option. And it looks like that's it for my options right now. So if I were to save it to Google Drive, 
and save again. All right, it says my file is being uploaded to my drive. So now I'm gonna go to my Google Drive. There we go. So then I'm gonna tap here and it looks like this is the Samsung Health Monitor ECG. It, this is information that you can give to your doctor. Also gives you the date and time here on the PDF. If you found this video helpful, could you please give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more Galaxy Watch videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.